<laughs> What's going on y'all? Hope you've been living right. Today's video, well, we are going to dive into the brand new Six Cents Six Sack subscription that I got. This is the first one, the reamped one. You've probably already seen videos on it. The reason I'm late saying anything about it is because I was hoping to do a challenge where I take them out and fish with them, but Mother Nature is being a real pain in the ass and will not warm up and my lakes are still frozen. You have rivers, but it's been raining. We got snow melt, they're flushing, and I don't know how to fish river system. And we're also gonna go over this sack right here. These are items I wanted last year, but didn't pull the trigger on, but this year I am. And got some things in here to restock or I couldn't get before because they were sold out. So I'm gonna shut up, we're gonna go ahead break into these sacks. I hope y'all enjoy. And if you do, please consider hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and hitting that thumbs up. Helps me, helps the channel, and hopefully I actually make a video that helps you. But I'm going to shut up and we're going to break into these right now. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and break into it. We're not going to get into the subscription yet because you've probably already seen them. I'm just going to go ahead and break into right now what I got in the big red sack from Six Cents. If you're wondering when I'm gonna start bringing in different big baits from different companies and the little guy that makes them that I can find them for sale, those are coming. I actually deliver those to y'all differently. I'm gonna go out to a lake, I'm gonna open them up on the lake and I'm gonna fish with them that day. And that's all I'm gonna use are big baits. I hope y'all enjoy that. And if, you're gonna, if you think you're going to, hit the subscribe button to follow it. But, in this sack, well, we're not gonna get too crazy with it. We're just gonna start reaching in here. I picked up some flushes because I didn't have much. I had like three in a package left. Love going weightless with them. This year, I may put a keel hook on them, weight them a little bit and see how that works for me. But I wanted chatterbait crawler or trailers, all that good stuff. So I picked up a handful of them, various colors, like this one right here. Um, this is in baby crappie. I love baby crappie. It has worked very well for me. Last year, it worked very well. I couldn't get the color I wanted and baby crappie was the closest one to it. I hope y'all can see it. My lighting sucks, but it's like a green with a pale white or darker white green at the bottom, I think. Oh, that mold got a little jacked up. That was a phenomenal one. It's kind of that good all around color. It imitates a shad a little bit, but not crazy. But yeah, that is baby crappie. Gotta say one of my favorite colors. We got, what is this one? Baby bluegill, uh, watermelon shad. And this is a green with a white translucent bottom. What well, we got here, watermelon red, which y'all already know, um, green pumpkin with red flake. What well, we got, threadfin shad, the, what you call it, um, baby bass resembles the threadfin shad pretty well. This is just a lighter version compared to the uh, baby crappie. Not as dark, doesn't have as much glitter, I do not think. And I tell you what, when it, your fingers are cold, these are hard to put back in the box. And then I picked up some of these pearl chrome ones. They're a two-tone, pearl white up top, but underneath they have that clear translucent belly, some black silver flake in it, that little action for that tail. Oh, a chatterbait, even a spinnerbait. This thing would probably do phenomenal. I don't know about spinnerbait. It's an idea, I may try it. Because if I work the spinnerbait, I get that tail to act. May try it. May just give that one a shot. Up next, well, let's see what we got. I think I got one more in here. I picked up two of the pearl chromes. You can never, never have enough white of the flush, uh, fluke style baits that you're looking for. Right before I was checking out, I decided, well, why the hell not? Let's go ahead and see what they had in their area for being on sale. I, I enjoy a good deal and where lures can be expensive, if you get them 51% off, 35% off, it's kind of worth it. So that's what I did. Picked up a handful of lures like this one right here, Snatch 70, and this one is in Snow Cone. It's kind of chartreuse, right? Yeah, I would say the Snow Cone resembles the chartreuse pro blue or pro blue chartreuse. Forget the color. 
very much. Chartreuse on the sides. It's got that nice blue, pro blue top. But I think what throws it differently than everything else is the orange belly. Love the snatch. I had one last year. With It was an American Shad. Love that color. And I snapped it off. Or no, I didn't snap it off. I broke it off. Because like an idiot, I didn't freaking retie after catching my first bass that day. And I set that hook into another one. And snap. Lost it. So I picked up another one in a random color. Here we go, another Snatch 70. This one is in Sunfish Scream, which was kind of unique. But I will say the colors on the website versus seeing these things in real person, completely different. But this one has the chartreuse in there. The lines kind of has a green with a bronze or copper side green top and purple around the eye, red circle around the black eye, a little bit of orange. I think these will get bit. The sunfish here where I live, this would actually be great. And I believe this would be a key player here as soon as the ice comes off. And if we get more rain, the water's gonna get muddier and that'll stand out. Then right here, we got another Snatch 70 right here. This is the Piggy Bank Chrome pink top. Like I said, I picked these up because they were on sale in their sale bin. Maybe they had too many of them. Maybe nobody was buying them. I'm not scared of trying something new. I do know chrome is a great color. Early spring or right after spawn, you get this bad boy. It starts reflecting light on a nice sunny day. You, you, you can't beat it. It works great. It's got a pink top, chrome bottom, and it kind of dulls out to a light white down at the bottom. Not so chromey. Freaking awesome. Set that over there because they're going straight into the tackle box here very shortly. Uh, what else we got here? The catwalk. Picked up another top water. I love the catwalk. I've only caught, well, I actually had a great day fishing a catwalk. I have one in shad scales, um, shallow water use on it, but this one is in Spanish bone. I don't think you can go wrong with a white top water. The Spanish bone is pretty neat. It almost has a chartreuse look to it. It is bone, but with the light, depending on how you look at it, it has a chartreuse look to it. Or maybe it's just a light chartreuse on the bottom down here. Pretty standard bone color, little black dot. They put a little black underneath the eyes and the eyes look like they are looking down. Freaking awesome. Gonna love using that. Top water bite here in Wisconsin though, doesn't seem to pop off until September. And I don't know why. Every now and then you get on a decent bite in July with a frog, but anything else is just like late summer. Or yeah, late summer for us and fall right before the water starts dropping back down the temperature. Got one more in here, yep. One more. Picked up a Cloud Nine. This one was, I don't, yeah, this one was on sale. And let's see what color we got. Ghost Pro Truce. Well, okay. I didn't even look at the color. I just saw that. Hey, it was like 51% off. I grabbed it. Uh, if you're wondering, this is a half ounce bait and it goes four to eight foot. I love using these baits. It's kind of one of my go-tos with the Curve 55s. Very similar in baits. They drive down about the same depth. They just have different presentations. So you can say, and they work a little bit different where these dive down a little bit faster and get down where you want them. I feel the Curve 55 is more of a taper down. I don't even know if I explained that very well. This Ghost Pro Truce, very unique, translucent body, black top, and it has chartreuse on the bottom. I'm sorry, it's not even all that black. It has black to a green, a very dark green scale pattern up top. Awesome looking bait. Now we are getting down to the last three things. Now these I wanted to use last year, just didn't pull the trigger, I think, or I saw them and I didn't, I could only get one out of them all. But this time I was able to get them all. And this is why I wanted to use it on the lake because I think these would be more that wow factor on pulling it out of the box right away and catching a fish on it. Cause I know I should be able to catch fish on these. And that is the Six Cents Divine flutter spoon. They are one and a quarter ounce, four and three quarters of an inch long. I have this one right here, which is the foil spoon, hammered out spoon, and the solid chrome spoon. 
Now, everyone is huge on the Magnum spoons. I am still gonna buy a Magnum spoon as soon as they hit stock or uh, another company has them in stock where I can get my hands on one. I believe I can use a Magnum spoon here in Wisconsin and catch some big, nice bass. I'm talking any bass over four pounds on the Magnum spoon. Easy. We have them. I know I can use them and I know I can catch fish on them. The only downside to using this here in Wisconsin are the Northern Pike. I don't think I will lose it to a Northern Pike, but it's kind of scary. Because, <laughs> I mean, this stuff gets expensive. You start losing enough of it. But yeah, this one, that foil, you can see it, it shines. Solid chrome on the back. Very thin. It has that nice little wave to it. So it flutters down. I am very excited to use these. Glad I picked up some odd and end things that, you know, I needed. Can't go wrong having a fluke style bait. And the flush, I, I love the flush. I love the way it works. And some random cheaper baits that were on sale. I don't care if they were overstock or they just didn't sell or not popular favorites. What works for somebody somewhere else could work great or doesn't work. If something somewhere else doesn't work for somebody and that's why they don't sell, they could work phenomenal for me. And I'm all about trying something new. I love new things. I say that, but <laughs> all my videos are pretty much six cents. I love new style of baits. Let me put it that way. Companies don't really bother me. I love Sixth Sense. They've been a great company. I love their product. And that's why I keep putting in my boat. Because one, it's my money. So I might as well spend it on what I want to spend it on. But that is it for all the random stuff I got, I think. Let's see. Well, we have another sticker. And the card for Waterland Sunglasses. You can use Waterland 15, get 15% off Waterland Sunglasses, I would assume. I don't know why I'm saying it. They don't pay me. They don't give me anything. It's just, I've heard great things about them. I just don't own a pair. Now, we're gonna break into the new Six Sack from Six Cents. If you're unaware, this is the subscription. They reamped. They said this is gonna be bigger, better. But full disclosure on this, I never had an issue with the last sack. There was a lot of people that said, I don't want it because they just give you overstock or things that don't sell or the same thing over and over and over. I understand that to some point. I don't mind getting the same thing over and over and over and over. The thing is, is they always sent different colors. And I, like I said, this color here doesn't work for someone else in a different area, but it works great for me. Great. The only way to find it is to try something new. So six cents may have given out the same things over and over and over, same styles, crush fifties, um, lipless baits, plastics. Yeah, you know, great. That's I signed up for that subscription to get that stuff. They would send me something in a different color every month. Hell, they even threw in one or two newer style lures that they were coming out with, but people wanted more. Well, they heard it and they went with it. And today. We are gonna see what they gave us. If you've already seen this, sorry, but we're gonna go through it again. Up first, hard bait, don't know what we got. Quake 80 suspending. Now I own one Quake 80 suspending and I haven't thrown it, which I, I should. And I think this would be great because the lake I'm gonna be fishing has lowered. There are humps that are popping up that are gonna get grass on them. And I believe the bass are gonna be bedding on them or staging along the edges to bed on, on them. And I think this is gonna be a killer bait. If I can burn a bait and stop it and it sits, especially lipless, and it doesn't sink down into mud or grass and then I gotta snatch it free or make that fish chase it, that right there is the perfect solution to it. This one is a uh, bluegilla. Oh, uh, 4K bluegill, not bluegilla. This one, ow, has extremely sharp hooks. They will end up in your finger. Has a few BBs and one big knocker in it. Not as loud as some of them, but I believe when it stops, it's gonna be phenomenal. Next, so much plastic. What do we got? The Movement 80, and this one is in thread fin. Movement 80X in thread fin shad. Now I actually have one of these. Actually, I do. I do have one of these, but it's in the L7, I think it's called is their square bill in the movement body. I love, caught a four and a half pounder off of it. And actually that was a six cents 
sack challenge, the super sack challenge I did in June. I'll leave that one linked down below this bait, but it was just a different model. Pretty neat to have this one. I think this one dives one to three foot. Yeah, one to three foot. Pretty awesome. I, I, I love the gray and the blue with the gold line. A little bit of green up top, a little bit of purple up around the eye. Phenomenal. That bill right there is more rounded. And this thing, it doesn't have a tight wobble. This thing just works wide. Something they're not used to seeing. All right, up next we have Crush Flat 75X, and this one is in Wild Lava Crawl. Now, this makes like my fourth <laughs> Flat 75. I do not have a whole lot of these because I just haven't bought many of them. This one is pretty neat. It has the gold lines in it, black top, dark orange, almost red down to a lighter red in it, or orange, red down to a lighter orange, not red, I can't see. But they say, because this is such a thin profile bait with that wide square bill, it's a tighter wobble. I do feel it in the rod. It does have a real tight wobble. It is, <clears throat> knockers in it are there, but this one is not as loud, but it is an awesome bait. I do love them. This makes number five that go in the box. I do need to stock up on these. I do like the action of them and they do catch fish all the time. And this color, well, this year I am trying a lot more bold colors in the springtime and moving into the fall. All right, next, the Crush Mini 25 MD. This is not the square bill. This one is their more deep diver. I think it's, what, what depths do we got here? Four to seven foot, um, dives just as far down as the Cloud9 C6. It's just a very smaller profile. Oh, let me grab this. Uh, what color is this one in? The Blue Truce Shad. Blue Truce has been a productive color for me up here. Um, I have a crush or a Curve 55 that I love using up here that is in Blue Truce and I should retire the one I have and get a new one, but it, it works. It's not as shiny, but that chartreuse, the blue, the darker green into the chartreuse in yellow, that little bill helps this quarter ounce bait dive down deeper than most. And when your profile of bait gets smaller, or the fish are keyed on on smaller baits, this will work. That is compared to the C9. You can tell the size difference right there different bills. It's shocking that this big bill here goes just as deep as this little bill here, but it does have a different wobble than this one, obviously because of the bills made. Same depths, different size profiles. They're not biting this, they may be biting this. And you can throw this on spinning reels. Bait casters, I know there's bait casters out there that can throw these with ease. I just don't own one. Next, Divine Shaky Head. Uh, this one is in Green Pumpkin Burst. We all know this color. It is Green Pumpkin with a lot of gold flake in it. Love these. Great little baits. I use them either on drop shots or I put them on a shaky head. Those are my two main ways of doing it. Next, these little boogers right here. Six Cents came out with these. They're exclusive color. I don't know if they're coming out with these all together or if these were just exclusive just to the six sack. But... This is a drop shot lure and it is called the glitch. And the color, oh yeah, it's just an ex six cents exclusive color is a flat bottom. That tail looks very, very soft. And I bet you anything, this bait would be phenomenal here in Wisconsin through the ice. I wish I would've gotten this sooner. Green pumpkin, black flake up top, and then a lot a gold flake down in the belly of it into that tail that is very, very, as you can tell, its own weight, that's gonna be a phenomenal, phenomenal looking bait. And for a drop shot, I think they're gonna kill it with this. Now, drop shot hooks. These are one aughts or one size one drop shot hooks. Hardware, love the drop shot hooks. I have all their hooks and that's pretty much all I use. And then lead weights. These are, I believe, quarter ounce weights, right? Yep, quarter ounce lead weights. I already have some in my box, so I can actually put these on a peg with my other stuff and start my tackle wall. Eventually, I just haven't bought anything to start a tackle wall. And yeah, I think that's it. That's all we got. Gotta say, out of all of it, I'm more, I don't know if what I'm more surprised using this year. Uh, 
the flutter spoons i'm super stoked but these little glitches 3.3s right 3.8 inch glitches i bet you anything these are gonna be fire six cents if you're watching if you even watch this video i mean hell i can barely get anybody else to watch them these glitches here's your way into ice fishing i'm gonna use them for ice fishing so i hope you make more of them in different colors because that'll probably be my main use for them all right well my sacks are empty showed you all the baits i picked up wish i was able to deliver them to you out on the water like i was hoping to but being as i suck at fishing rivers and the weather's warming not warming up i had to give it to you this way i hope you all enjoyed the video if you enjoy it please hit that subscribe button if you're kind of on the fence about subscribing, I have goals I set for myself for my last video. If you have one of these tracker boats, you should watch. I'll leave that link down in the description or have it in the card up here. Made, I made these goals as I was making the video. It's like 1,000 subscribers. We're putting Mega 360 on the front of the boat so I can use to help me find structure and help me out with tournaments if I can hit 1,000 subscribers within that timeline. And like 10,000 subscribers, I was doing shallow water anchors on the back of the boat. 25,000 subscribers. I, uh, I don't know if I was just talking about putting a Mega Live unit on here, whether I was buying another unit or what. And then at 50,000 subscribers, I was going to go lithium in the boat. And you get to pick the brand that I use, whether it's the tracker version of lithium batteries. Um, there's, there's so many different brands of lithium batteries now. Y'all get to pick which brand I put in this boat. If you, if you like that idea or like where my head's going with this or where I'm kind of aimed for, hit that subscribe button. Maybe we'll make something happen. Maybe I'll figure out how to do these YouTube videos a little bit better. But I'm gonna stop wasting your time and I'm gonna get all this stuff put up in the boat where it needs to be. So y'all take care and until next time, y'all keep living right.